it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today with an unboxing for you guys, as well as a travel kit prep that I wanted to share with you. So if you have seen any of these little paint gem kits floating around, they are so fun. So this is unique to paint gem. They have these kits that you can purchase and work on. Now they are usually somewhere between I've seen some that have like four, six to 12 um, little individual paintings that you can work on in this kit that usually match. There's something that puts them together. Now you might've seen, I've done an unboxing of the Safari set as well as the butterfly set. And the one that I was gonna share with you guys today is the mystery edition. This is the version one mystery edition. And now Paint Gem did send these to me. However, I am not an affiliate of theirs. Um, so just keep that in mind while watching. I am actually a huge fan of their paint sets and I've purchased some of them on my own. And you can actually see, um, I think I've done, I've done reviews on some of their other kits as well on my channel in the past. So I, I, I'm just letting you guys know that I, I really do enjoy these. Um, but the one that we're looking at today, I have to let you guys know, we are going to look at them, but this is the mystery edition. So let's go ahead and I will show you guys the kit and what comes in it. And then I will show you guys how I am prepping to go on vacation and what I'm gonna take in my vacation kit. So first off, let's pull this out. So you have got mystery edition. And then right here, we have basically a list of what is in this kit. So we've got three museums, three national parks, three space, two around the world, and one her story. So I believe it's a, a female in history, her story. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at this. So opening it up. I just love how compact these kits are. I've said in other unboxings that I love that this already comes ready to travel with. If you didn't have your own tools that you wanted to travel with, like for me, I have my own diamond painting pens and, and things like that that, you know, I prefer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring my comfort items with me. Not all, everything, but a few things. But this if, is just perfect if you are just, you, you could just take this, this box with you and you are good to go. I'll show you really quickly what is in the tool kit. So you are going to get a pen and you will get a squishy. And then you're going to get these two small multi-placers, or I guess they're not small. <laughs> We've got a three, that is a small multi-placer, and you've got a nine. And so you can put those together. You've got multi-placing as well as your pen. You have got some tweezers that you could place with or use. Um, I use mine typically actually to more um, pick up drills or pick them off or also to change the wax or putty out of my pen but that's just me these also too if you have a um a steel placer pen these might actually be like a tip these actually might be good so that they don't scratch your metal placer to just use in general so you are also going to get this little tray as well as wax in a container. Now this container is gonna keep your wax fresh so that it doesn't dry out. So that's really nice. It's gonna keep it so that your wax doesn't dry out. Now always remember to just take off the plastic of these little wax slabs. I don't know if you can see right there, it's kind of coming off before you try to dip your pen in because you're not gonna get any wax in your pen if you just stick it into the plastic. So <laughs> if, are you even a diamond painter if you haven't done that once? So um, we've got that. So that is our tool kit. And I love that it's just, it's actually quite simple. You need a lot of the things that with a lot of these kits, there may be partials or things like that. So you don't necessarily need washi tape or some of the other goodies that you know, are included in some more luxe toolkits. I think overall this one is like just perfect. It's simple and chic, I love it. We've got our drills here. 
And this is the mystery edition. So we have got all of these colors. I just don't know <laughs> what you are going to get. Now, I, we haven't got to the spoiler spoilery images yet, but I love that they have this little container, <laughs> paper container that holds your diamond paintings. And it just, they use every inch of it. So they've got tips and tricks up top. They've got a QR code for if you need help. They've got instructions on how to diamond paint. And so inside here, we have got this sticker sheet. So this is mini mystery edition, mini 23 is what it says. And so we can see all of our symbols clearly printed here. And these are individually cut, which makes it really nice to kit up. If you like to work out of baggies, again, you could just put your stickers on your baggies and your kit up. So that's really nice. Okay, now if you don't wanna see the images, I will be showing now what they look like. And I don't know if we'll be able to see or tell what they are, but um, I will be sharing with you guys what these look like as soon as I do finish the kit. So, but this is the spoilery part, I guess. So right here, this is one of the images you can see. So it's a full square and I don't know, I think you can kind of get, I think this is a portrait. So I'm wondering if this is her story or this could be a museum painting or something, you know, who knows? Um, but the, the printing is very clear. We don't really see any confusing symbols next, next to each other. So that's good. Okay, this one looks, I don't, I'm not really sure, maybe you landscape, but again, the printing is very clear. Okay, we've got a little square right here. I wonder if this is the space one because they, they kind of look like little squares. Now I said you might not need like washi tape or anything like that with these, but I am noticing that these are all squares. So you could put a little washi tape border if you wanted, but the glue does not look to be overlapping very much at all on these. And so we've got another square and a square. So then this is interesting because it's like this part, it's, it's cut off right there. Let's try the stick. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's affected, but yeah, the clear is cut off right at the line right there. It's again cut off at the line right there as well. And right here. So here are our, I think that is, I think I know what that one is. So you guys, these are like actually not as easy to tell as I thought they were going to be, but um, this one's probably maybe the easiest and then maybe this one. I feel like I can see that one, but um, this just looks like it'd be a fun thing to work on. I love that these are all the same size too though, so you could place these just like in a photo album. You wouldn't even need to get any sort of special... Uh, like framing or anything like that. Of course you could, you could get maybe like a six by eight frame, but you could put these in a little book and this would be such a unique thing to just put like on a coffee table that people could look at. You just share like, <laughs> this is like just an interesting, you know, something that you don't see all the time. So you guys, I'm going to get ready. Oh, did we go through the colors? I don't think we did. Let me pull these out for you. So we have got 995, this vibrant blue, 996, 500, it's a deep green, 3847, 3848, 3849, 598, 747, 975, 
Then we've got 739, 712, 783, 444, 744, 939, <laughs> oops, dropped all of these. We've got 336, 317, 414, 318, 415, 762, goodness dropping these, 890, 699, I love this color so much, 702, 704, 823, 814, 498, 321, 606, 947, 740, 825, 826, 827, and 3865. So those are the drills. Now let me go pack this up and we'll come right back. I'm here with what I'm going to be traveling with. <laughs> so as you can see, I used this container. So this is one that I've used before. Um, and so my stickers are a little bit <laughs> used read over, so it's not the best looking thing. However, um, this is great for these little kits because they on, honestly, the bags do not have a ton of drills and only one of them really needed several um, cases. Now I do have to let you guys know <laughs> that I did not kit everything up yet. I continue, I plan to continue to do that. However, I will be completely honest with you. Every single one of these bags has been a nightmare with static and you can kind of see that with these ones right here. I've been having to use alcohol wipes um, to get them to not be staticky. And at a certain point, I was like, you know what? I'm just done for right now kitting up. So I will finish kitting up um, at a later date before I go on my trip. But that is neither here nor there. So I have my drills right here. And then I am actually going to be keeping everything else in this Simply Gilded pouch that I actually got in the advent calendar, which is actually, this is like a perfect size. So if you would like to see that video, I will have a link down below, but I did open this up on my channel. And a lot of the, the other item that I will be using in this was actually in that as well, in that video. So inside of this right here, everything, this, this case can zip up. And so I've got everything compact in here and I can just even put this like in my carry on bag with me just to keep track of it. There's still actually quite a bit of room in here too. But what I've got first off the bat is I've got a tray that I'll be taking with me. This is from Cat Proof Trays. It's a lean boy. And so that just fits in the front front pocket. Now I am adding some ABs in here and I may actually throw in a few when a few more after I look in my stash and grab a few just based on the colors that I've already kitted up or that I can see. I think I have some matching and some colors that I usually like to replace. I can stick them up here in these pockets. They've still got quite a bit of room. So moving on, this is actually a album portfolio that Simply Gilded. They actually um, have quite a few of these. I guess I've never even taken this sticker off and I can do that. <laughs> but um, these can hold their sticker sheets for their planners. However, I found that this is the perfect size for these kits. So I have them all in here. I can just pull whichever one I want to 
they're very nicely included here i guess i skipped some sheets i don't know why i did that but i've got them all in here so they all fit and what's really actually nice about this is i was just thinking that even I could probably fit a whole other set of these in and I could just keep them in here as a nice display. So one key hint about these mystery kits, if you are a fan of Simply Gilded like myself, they used to include these pouches in their monthly subscriptions. They don't do that anymore. Now they, um, you can purchase them on the website, but they do not send them um, monthly. So that is how I am bringing the canvases. Now the rest of the case, I have some tools in this little pouch right here that I feel like are just my, my go-tos. So I have got these alcohol prep pads and I definitely use these a lot, especially after seeing how much static. I can use these a lot of times just to wipe down my trays after using static drills, or if the drills, if the drill contain, the container that I have the drills in is like everything sticking to a staticky, I like to wash those out as well. And so I just keep these, I keep a bunch of them together. And you know, I usually use like one on for multiple things like to clean the trays or the you know help um keep the the drill separated and stuff like that i just um anyway they're really they're really helpful so i keep those a lot and especially if you know like i'm not going to bring um a full like isopropyl alcohol bottle and q-tips like i have at home so the prep pads are good and you can buy so many and then I have my O-Snap dots that I use in my single placers. And then I have putty, my putty that I've actually made. But these are the things that I put in my single and my multi-placer. So that fits really nicely in this little pouch. And then right here, I've got two pens that I've been using lately. So this is a Bistro Blanks, and this is a Leopard Leatherworks pen. I've got the Diamond Art Club 6, but I technically think it's a 7 placer on there, as well as I've got these two. These are um, cat-eared single placers. Now, I did grab a pair of these black tweezers that I... I'm putting in there and then I thought I'd bring along these paint gem tweezers because I'm just very curious about them so guys that is how I will be traveling with this diamond painting set it's not going to take up very much room um, I do have to say that as far as this goes I will probably rubber band it a couple times just so that this does not come apart I do like that these cases really a lot of times it's a double close on them because um, you you know obviously they close in here but then when this is completely shut it does also keep them closed so again I will <laughs> will rubber band that and then that is what I'm gonna do to travel so you guys that was the mystery edition from paint gem and how I will be traveling with it I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in another video soon bye <laughs>